Hey guys, this is Andrew for TradingCenses.com. So let me quickly introduce myself. I've been working as a professional trader for the past six years in Hong Kong, and I've decided a few months ago to do my YouTube channel because guys, I want to show you how pro traders are actually working, all the different tools and techniques that we use to make money on the markets. I mean, at least those that I use and that work for me. And most importantly, guys, I want to show you how to use it yourself. So if you want to know about all the stuff and how to do it yourself at home, you guys are in the right place. So today I want to make an update on GameStop. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is GameStop chart. Uh, I was actually, uh, I did a video yesterday where I was explaining to you guys why this price action looks now very bullish for the volume. Uh, we broke this trend line and you know, this is expected. Uh, you can check my videos that I did like on the 24th of March when I was saying that this is what we're looking for and this is what is happening. So we are in a very beautiful situation. We are gonna probably go higher this week and the week after. We are in the, I think, third wave of Elliott wave uh, developments and I want to show you guys uh, a bit more in depth how to use Elliott wave theory applied to GameStop. So let's go on the four hour time frame. First thing is that we have one move that is finished for sure. This one. So I put it in red, all right? This wave development. One, two, three, four, five. This is our first move up uh, of a larger degree wave counting. So basically waves up develop in five waves and waves down develop in three waves, A, B, C, zigzag. And for the one, two, three, four, five, it's usually an impulse or a diagonal. So we are applying uh, this rules to the chart that we're having here. And we're going to try to predict what might happen next. So we have this one, two, three, four, five that is here. Then we have this A, B, C. So this is actually one wave, second wave. And now guys, we are uh, developing, we are doing the third wave. So it's probably gonna be a very strong one as it's usually the most impulsive and the strongest one. And we need to find the counting for this third wave. So I was saying in my previous videos that I was you know, seeing something like this. All right and that I was expecting a fifth wave to go to 480 before correcting and then going to 800. The situation has changed, yes, so you need to adapt. And actually, right now, uh, I see that this first wave is finished, so I need to use this information. Trading is about probabilities, yes, so you never show 100%, but once you have some information that you cannot deny, you need to use it. Here, the information I cannot deny is that we had a correction. So I need to use this information to make a counting that is taking it into account. And my counting is actually one, two, very small one, but this is a valid counting, three, four, five. So this is our first wave. Then you have the second wave that is developing always, guys, in three waves. I mean, it can be a triangle, but 90% of the time it's going to be a zigzag or a flat correction, A, B, C. So once again, for those who want to know more about Elliott Wave Principle, uh, just click on the link in the description of this video and you're going to receive right away, guys, in the five minutes free video, a free training where I explain everything about Elliott Wave Principle after I've read the book. That is a bit complicated. That's why I did it like I sum it up to make it very easy for you guys to understand. Basically, Elliott Wave uh, Theory consists of a little game that is to find the wave development that is fitting the best and that is respecting all these rules that I explained in this video that you can receive by clicking on this link in the description. So here we have a one, then we're looking for an ABC. Quite easy. And now we are doing a one, two, three, four, five guys, as usual. So one. So question is, is it one, two, three, four, five? I don't know yet, all right? So here, for example, there is a good question. There is one information you can use to guess. So the information you can use, guys, is every C wave of a zigzag must contain five sub wave. It, it is an impulse, all right? This is one of the rules that you need to apply. So let's see if actually we find five waves here. So one, 
two, three, four, five. All right, so then if this is a one, two, three, four, five, this is a one, two, all right? So this is giving me a nice information. So this is complete. The C wave is finished here. And now we're having a one, two that is starting. One, two, three, four. So we're probably gonna have a five, guys. Can it be like this? It could be like this, all right? It could be like this. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see what happens. You have different scenarios that are possible in this situation. So either we do a five and then we correct more, or actually we have already corrected. Okay, I see an ABC. So I think that right now we're gonna do a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, another possible scenario is that we are just doing this, an ABC like this. That is possible as well, because once again, guys, I was telling you that when you have this kind of strong move down, usually the momentum shift takes a, lot, a bit of time. So it's possible that we do a one, two that is a bit longer, that comes back here, you know, or a flat correction maybe would be more appropriate, you know, so just don't be surprised if you don't see a very bullish um, price action starting at the beginning of the week. We can start maybe only on the 30th of March to do this new wave development. But whatever we have here, guys, whatever we have, this is still going to be a one, two. There is no discussion about it. So then we're going to have a three, four, and five. Then let me put this one in another color. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. And this is actually gonna be a third wave, guys. This is only a third wave, all right? Because this is a one. This is a two. This is a three. We're gonna have the four and the fifth. So this is my scenario. This is the most likely thing to happen. I think that we're gonna go to 480 again with a one, two, three, four, five, then we're gonna correct. Once again, guys, here we had a zigzag. So here we're gonna have a flat probably, you know, a flat is a bit different, is something like this. A zigzag is ta, 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 ABC with the C wave lower and the flat is uh, a lighter correction where A, wave A and wave C are actually going to the same level. And usually when you have a zigzag in second wave here, ABC zigzag, usually you have a flat here. So I expect uh, a price action development like this. And once again, guys, look at that. Look what I have for you. So this is the open interest that I computed using uh, data that I find on Yahoo Finance. And this is uh, showing me, guys, that there is a very big, big, big amount of call options uh, on the 800 strike. And if I convert this into national, this is 2.5 billion USD national that are sitting at the 800 level. This is what uh, is actually going to create your gamma squeeze. And I'm going to explain this very well in another video. So to come back here, guys, that's why I am so bullish. That's why I believe we're going to go to the uh, 800 level. And once again, if you ask me why 800, I can answer quickly. I just measured the first wave. That's why Elliott wave is very important. And I applied to the bottom of my second wave and this is the uh, the 1.618 the golden number is actually uh, the most likely level to be hit and when i see that the uh, option concentration at the 800 level is that high and i have this 800 given by another technique you know it's just it looks like uh, different methods converge to the same answer 800 is the level we're going to so guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like, and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new. And stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.